OK, in Rugby Union news, uh, Augustine Pichot, the former Argentinian international scrum half, has launched a bid to head World Rugby. Uh, he wants to replace Bill Bowman, who has been in charge of the organisation for quite some time. And he has a completely different vision to how rugby should be governed and structured uh, than the current administration. Um, he has concerns about the financial structures, and he also wants to have a look at the international game and to try and make it a more level playing field to allow those Tier 2 nations to become more competitive and to grow the game professionally. Another thing that Pichot is very interested in is player wages. Uh, the top-end talent may have to take pay cuts so that more players can reach professional level. Uh, we've already seen the debate with World Rugby wanting to change the international calendar. That's something else that Pichot uh, is very keen on having a look at. And with the direction that World Rugby has taken, yes, the game has gone into the professional era in the last 25 years, but it hasn't benefited all nations and all leagues as well as it should have. The money isn't evenly distributed, and there is concerns about finances within the game. Now, Pichot was instrumental in pushing to get Argentina into the rugby championship alongside South Africa, Australia and New Zealand. He was instrumental in pushing to, to get the game professional in Argentina. Um, he wants to grow the game as much as possible. Uh, that's his mantra. And to do that, you need better structures or a change in structure and a change in finance. Bill Beaumont has been at the helm for quite some time. Uh, rugby has evolved under Bill Beaumont, but Pichot wants to take it in a different direction, it seems. So it'll be interesting to see if he's, you know, when it comes to the election process, whenever it may be because of the coronavirus, uh, if Pichot is successful in becoming the new head of World Rugby or if Bill Beaumont maintains his position and direction that the sport is currently taking or if the sport decides to go with Pichot's plan and ideas and takes the sport in a new, more dynamic direction, which may mean top-end talent take a slight pay cut in order that more players can actually, as I say, become professional. It'll be very interesting to see what happens in the coming months and possibly a year or so. And if Pichot is successful, what you know, what will rugby look like with Pichot at the helm? You know, how will the international game change? How will the club game change? And how will the finances change? That's something that Pichot is very, very keen on, is looking at the structures there. So we'll see what happens, but thank you very much for watching. And for once, we have some positive news on some sport, which isn't coronavirus-related. Thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts below, and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.